interval. Recording mode, slow. We don't want that, do we? No, that would make it... The whole video would be us going... Yeah. HQ? Do we want yeah. HQ instead? Yeah. I've went HQ, Reese. Yeah. You must HQ. be talking really quick in this video if you're still full speed. Mm-hmm. I'm talking well. Oh, <laughs> Congratulations, you've won. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Trusty Crowbar. This is episode 89. Yes. 89. Yes, it is My 89. Name is Douglas Bright. I'm Reese Whittingslow. And I'm... our very special guest. I thought week. we weren't going to be introducing people as we special can, guests can, all the time. Why not? Well, he's not that special, is he? He's like, oh, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, this is my. <laughs> actually, this is my co host, Reese. Yep, apparently. Yep. And uh, across the table from us, we have Kieran Nunn. I don't believe I thank you. you. I thank you. Mm, thanks yeah, for joining beautiful. us. Beautiful. You've joined us across the, across the river. <laughs> well, have you really long travel, long across travel. Across the border. Yeah, you have come into state, sir, to do a podcast. Mm. Again, we've got our sponsors, McDonald's. Mm-hmm. No, we don't really have a sponsor of McDonald's. And no one sponsors us. No Kieran often does another podcast that we could probably talk about briefly. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. What's been happening in games? <laughs> yeah, we'll no. Tell that. us, tell the whole interwebs about your podcast, the uh, On Earth One podcast. That is yes. it. Mm. Comic book podcast. I hear it's quite appealing mm, for comic book listen- readers. <laughs> it, listeners. Listeners, can you hear a comic book? You used to be able to. It's through records. Would a comic book be a good idea? You know, when you get a kids book, and An every time you go to a page, you click a button, and it's like. Ooh, the cow said moo. Well, I thought you were saying mm, just where it does but... the, like the turn the page <laughs> noise. It does a little. What unnecessary? <laughs> unnecessary? Yeah, that's, yep. that's what unnecessary. an unnecessary <laughs> thing that would be. No, when it's so um... wouldn't it be better to be like, hey, what are you doing there? And you just look at each panel and you go through it. Wouldn't that? I, you so that really, wouldn't be I was going to say that they used to actually make comic books with records in it back when they did vinyls, and you could put the vinyl in, and read your comic. That's Effort. I just want to click a button. <laughs> think about it. Well, but the only bit there was a lot of things like with buttons power around those days. <laughs> so you'd be ready along and just you'd hear the fight scene. Watch. Yeah, and you'd be like, oh, and it'd be like W A T O U C H. Watch. I'm pretty sure they used to make them. What? What you just described? Watch. Where you, where you press the buttons and it makes a noise. Well, for each page. So you're just no. talking about the like the four page books of kids because the cardboard like the pages were two mil thick. Yeah. So then, how many? So they're not comics. They're just a children's book. Yep. With superheroes. And it, the duck says, "Wank wank." That that's what you want. Yeah, yeah. but the superhero says, "Watish." W a t i c h. They probably have made that at some stage. Well, Kieran, you need to bring it back when you actually finish. But doing it your wouldn't comic it be book. a whole book. It would just be three pages. Yeah. Make three the pages, pages less fucking thin, thick. Thing. Mm? But now you just have iPads and tablets and things, and I feel it would just be an point. interactive book. Well, Doug, you're kind of ruining I'm pretty sure idea. you can do that. I'm pretty sure that Lucas' son has something very similar to that. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. There we go. Well, well learned something today. <laughs> so where... The more you know. Will people be able to listen to your podcast? We're getting it back on. We've had a bit of trouble with uh, our server provider. Yeah, provider? you need to yeah. pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> that, that old chest that's, out, that's out of my you hands. You have to pay that's for That's actually the partner... <laughs> the other... Don't Presenter? go and dob on him because he listens <laughs> yeah, to this. He's not free, man. He's one he's of our six free. listeners. <laughs> Does he? So, Kieran, you are recently got married mm. and you went on a honeymoon mm. and you got to experience the evil within... I thought you were going to say, the sexy time. <laughs> <laughs> the sexy time. In the evil within live thing mm-hmm. that was at Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers, Brothers <laughs> Movie World. Yeah, it was at... Um... Yeah, the Fright Night, the Halloween special yeah. they have. Did it? Did you have to pay again to do it? Yeah, so it's it's like after hours, so they close. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't think they close. So did you go during the day and then of the evening? I went, split it up, so two different. One was a Tuesday, and then the Fright Night was actually on a weekend. Yeah. Uh, so your Friday nights and your Saturday nights. They do it. That is there. a scary night. Mm. A Saturday. Okay. It's darker. Um, go on. Doesn't matter. Okay, um... Yeah, so obviously they had all the mazes for Wolf Creek and it was a couple of things, but they had one for Evil Within. Isn't Wolf Creek based on something like 
real, but it was. But apparently, like the second one was like the second kind one was of like taking shit. the Mickey out of itself. Yeah. But the first, one, yeah, like, Wolf Creek was a couple of Australian murderers. Yeah, like, no, it was a couple of separate stories mashed. Yeah, together. it oh, wasn't okay. exactly based on a true story. It was based right. on events. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I better turn my phone on. But silent. it still wasn't just luckily one. that's game related. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. It wasn't just one. I think it was like they sort of mashed two separate yeah. events and then. Concocted. But it was more serious than the first, the second one. The second one was very... I haven't watched it. Alright, fuck that. Let's talk about this Evil Within thing that you went through. So it's based on a game, obviously. Yep. Um, you went in a conga line because you weren't allowed to take your arms off the next person. Because if you touch the uh, people inside there, they will touch you back. Meaning they'll hit you back. Um, but Hang yeah, on, so you just literally have I'm, to walk in a conga line with strangers. And you've, like, it's a pretty big maze. Like, so if, you just, like, if, you just, if they were just like... And you just went, oh, hey, tap. They're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you judging me for? No, they wouldn't, they wouldn't do that. They're not that excessive. Oh. But so they just people they, like, jump. So and the first reaction is to push, push people away. If you like, if you had your hands by your side and someone pushed them, like, well, you push them away. But the, the, the idea of it was that you had but your But being hands in a conga line is yeah. just a bit more, hey, hey, <laughs> whoa, hey, uh, whoa. That, so, was so it, you don't get lost. Was yeah. it good? Well, imagine the size of a, a studio. And that's how big I'm the, imagining. Yeah, like they were huge. So the studio lots at Warner Brothers, that's what they were using for yep. the mazes. And it was. Did like, they have the big old safe face? He was there. Was he was there a couple of times. Yeah. Because yeah. um, he, in the game, can kill himself and then reappear again. Is that that's correct? I haven't even gotten up to him yet. I haven't gotten up to him yet. No, I've okay. played maybe half an hour of the game because I hadn't played it before I went to the maze. Yeah. But I was learning everything from the maze. And, yeah. and, um, You're like, I knew this part, I can beat this part of the game now. <laughs> They, but obviously, what does he have? His weapon. Who's the safe? The dude with the safe on his head. Uh, I don't know. Because they actually with a safe on his head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This the is character be very scary. As I listened to it. Yep. Um, yeah. yeah, but he had, he had like a like it was meant to be a chainsaw, but it was like a leaf blower. <laughs> <laughs> There's another guy that's got like a chainsaw that chases you at the start of the game. Maybe it was him. Yeah, because it was like yeah, a he torch. A leaf there was a, you walk past it, and there's like a. A prison and a torture chamber and he's torturing yep. in the chamber. Yep, yep. But yeah, it was, it was really bloody and really gory, but scary at the same time. I Did you get, was there any like full... Jumping out Fourth dimensional face? elements, like you'd be wet or you'd be no, blood. No, there's nothing like that. Nothing so like you, that? You, like there's air blowing and there's noises yeah. of blood and all that sound effects. What so time that, and the it? music was actual, the music, the same kind of tone that was in the game, which yep. made it even more scarier. That's what, cool. What time of night was it? Um... One half about seven one. o'clock, so it gets darker obviously in Queensland than it does in Victoria. Yeah, but it was dark by the time. True story. Went. But they made like it was the it was the mood they set. Like they had heaps of smoke, the lights really dim, music. It was all, yeah, it was really much on the game. Did you stop and like pay attention to some of the detail? Yeah, or did yeah. you have to continue to keep walking? You have to continue to keep walking, but yeah. I was paying attention as I was going through. It was very much the game. So they've obviously played it, and the people who have crafted it have gone on. Yeah, and your lady friend was was her pants full of. Fecal matter by no, the end of it? she didn't think... It. She thought it was the scariest at all. She wasn't scared of it. Really? No. Oh, oh she's a tough guy. <clears throat> yeah. Tough <laughs> guy? Oh, tough guy. Mm. And so now after watching that, or being part of that and playing the game, do you find them they, they're... Yeah, it's very much combined, it's, very yeah, similar. Very similar. Yeah. It has the same kind of themes in it. Yeah. Obviously. Um... That's the evil but obviously, well, like when I went through it, I, all I wanted to do was play the game. Yeah, I, like, like, I, I was in I have two PlayStations with him now, but I really wanted to play it. And well, I don't even know what this game is. The evil Within. Mm-hmm. Are you really I, up to date with do games? Do I want to play it? Um, it's meant to be like well, they, it's not Minecraft or Stone Earth, so mm. uh, I don't know. It's a it's a third person game, third person view game, and it's scary. It's kind of like yeah. well, the closest they've said it's to is Resident Evil. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's <clears> not a game that I ever really played. Got a very strange save system to it, doesn't it? Mm. You are uh, when you go to save, you look in mirrors, and then you go into some mystical mirror world, and you can save, even though at the end of every level it goes, "Hey, you want to save?" So I don't know if you can save. I'm pretty sure, and also, so it's got save points, and I'm pretty sure it's got checkpoints. So you can turn the game off, come back to a checkpoint, without even having the save, but then you can save anyway. That is weird. Yes. So, very strange. I don't know if that's because you can upgrade your character and if you like, no, that sucks, you can just reload your save instead of just doing the checkpoint. True. So, that could be the reason. Um, RPG element. 
In a way, yeah, but I don't, I don't, I haven't found yet if it's done anything for me because I haven't upgraded anything yet. That's probably why. How far into it are you? Past the second level, like the second area. Oh, so there's yeah. the first word where you mm-hmm. run away from a chainsaw guy that's in the trailer. Um, very gory game. There's a lot of death scenes. Guy with chainsaw runs up to you and chop off goes your head. Mummy, and you don't die. Yep. No, you do die. But you can reload, because it's a video game, Doug. You can reload back Respawn. to the checkpoint, yeah. Ooh. And get back to it, yeah, mate. Modern technology, eh? It's amazing. <laughs> it's a lot to games. Um, and, but then the second level is like you run around scary zombies that you gotta be stealthy. Oh, let's not go too far. I haven't played that fight yet. You so. d- how much of games do you really <laughs> play? I feel like you put in the disc, you watch the first cutscene, that's gameplay for you. I was You're like, oh, you, okay. I had to click X to start the cutscene. I've been home for a week. Menu. I've played Arkham Origins. Yep. Okay, I've had a chance to play Mordor, and I've had a chance to play Evil Dead. Well, I was Even nine within, minutes into Image. The Last of Us, and you're like, whoa, I don't know if I've played this bit. Like, yeah, I played, if, I played the, like, what's it what it's called? Last of Us. I'm getting games confused now. Last of Us I played was, when did it come out? The last time you played The Last of Us. When, when yeah. did it originally come? When did it originally come? merge that sentence into one. The Last of Us I played? <laughs> is it a year old or is it over a year old? It's over a year old. So it came out Maybe, No, it's two three. years old then. It'd no. be two years old. It came out in 2013. No, not two years old. No, it's not two years old. Okay. It might be. I don't, I don't care. That you, were still, just... you were still at JB when it came out. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. thinking. Game will never age. It's beautiful. Well, I was there for a year and I've been gone a year. So maybe it has almost... It might be coming up two years. Because yeah. you, you played it before anyone, didn't you? You got the... I played it straight away. I yeah. Think. I'm sure it came out the end of the year, and that was the year before GTA. The GTA came out last year. GTA came out last year and so did Last of Us. No. Don't think so. I'm going to check it. Yeah, you, so you... Last of Us might have come out, like it'll be coming up two years. I'll accept that. The... Keep going. Just... I Don't do it on my internet last reach. Year. Don't do it to yourself. I've run out of internet Everyone at home Yep That's a real thing I've went over my 200 gigabytes Doug didn't buy enough Hours Free for his cards Yeah, yeah on my, uh... Well in Australia It's got really bad internet Yeah oh, well, It's you know, I just went over Being tight ass And you don't pay for it Went OJ Yeah like, Went OJ Oja. 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 Remember when you didn't have internet Reese? Yeah that's, that's what long... I had the last yeah, actually that's, that's, that's true That's how long June this... 14th 2013 There, there you, you go, go. So that means so yeah, mid so a year so and a half. Yeah. Pretty much then, yeah. the last time I played Last of Us, I and, and all you did was play at least because I got it for one minutes. day. No, you still have it. No, Why I don't. Why are you like hanging over the microphone? Because just last, Why don't you just move the mic a little bit, and then you're oh, there you go. He's That's beautiful. But then you're gonna like lean back, and you're gonna do annoying stuff as you normally Probably. would do. You're the Nino, yeah, Nino, I'm just back here talking. Nino, Nino, Nino Rob's frustration. Yeah, true. On Earth One podcast. Guess what, Ray? It's a blast. By the way, what? I played a game this week. Doug played a game. Three games. Three games. One game I only played tonight. I often, oh, let's quick, I better cram a game in because <laughs> it's a game, game podcast. Like, this doesn't I'll, happen often at all. And I'll pretend that I do something <coughs> gaming related. Um, no, I played three games. I played some Destiny. Yep. That I feel even, how long has that been out now? Like two months, three months? Two months, I think. I feel like I've left it too long. I don't like playing multiplayer games. <laughs> I did that one on purpose, yeah, everyone I'm sure listeners did. at home. Multiplayer games. I don't like playing them late when it's a levelling game. Yeah. Um, if probably, I didn't get into it when I did, which now I haven't played it since, yeah. um, I wouldn't be playing it. Maybe more um, like your yeah, first-person shooters where you <clears> unlock <throat> guns. They yeah. really annoy me. S-A-R starting late like the CODs and all that yeah because yeah. when you start you just get destroyed if you don't have yeah. basic unlocks this less so but I also Reese pointed out to me I haven't played uh, any co-op like I haven't done any missions with anyone I know have you got Destiny yet? no I don't no. have Destiny yeah. are you going to get it? <laughs> no Doug's really selling it isn't he? Yeah. No. <laughs> but I've been enjoying it but Realizing that I really needed you to... You need to play it with people. Need to play with like When friends. I played it with Lucas, Lucas would be shooting things like five times and I'd be there. He'd be like, oh, let me kill it. I want some experience. Well, at least that's probably one good thing that I've just been able to level probably quicker. Yeah. What were you saying yesterday when you told me about it? You were saying it was like another game. Oh, I, I'd said this to Reese as well. Like probably just any MMO, but I thought it was like um, 
nice of the old republic but it's probably pretty standard yeah. mmo practice in terms of you got your larger main areas you sort of start an instance sort of quest sort of thing and you fairly down a corridor oh yeah, and just dispatching you know his <clears throat> 17 different styles of enemies Although they do work together really well. Like, I hate the little, um, <clears throat> what's like the zombie bastards that run at your face and punch you that are like the real shit minions that do nothing but punch. The ones with the little spiky bit. Yeah, the, the weird there. ones. Like, and just run after you. Um, Whatever they're called. Yeah, I don't know. Just, you know what I'm saying though? Like, just. That's the, the hard thing about this game is because there's characters in it that you just don't care about. You just. No, well, they just might, mostly shoot them. It might be the character style that I'm playing. What am I playing, Rex? Hunter. That um, maybe I'm really weak to melee attacks. I don't know. But maybe. Because um, you're very OP to melee hmm. attacks. But uh, like sometimes, most of the time, you can just sit back and shoot stuff from a distance. It's probably not that fun, but you can just do that. But then they send these little guys that just run at your face and punch you. Yeah. And then that's annoying. And they don't do jack shit. Yeah. No, they hurt me weak. a fair bit. Oh, really? Yeah, at this stage. Like, oh, you're weak to melee. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. I get it. Mm. Makes sense now. Really susceptible yeah. to melee attacks. But, but are you enjoying it or do you feel like you just drone playing it? Yeah, kind of. I feel like I'm playing it to get some story. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing you cannot be playing this game for. Yeah. Well, I kind of want to know what's happening because I have no idea. I, you this, still will have no idea. You'll finish the game and you'll go, because what the fuck happened? Every time something like this happens where a game's been out, I purposely then go like media dark. Yeah. Even if it's a really big title and I just hear, yep, it's a good game you need to play, that's enough. Like I, I, Then I don't watch trailers. Like I Speaking of that, like, I, do you want to know what happened at the end of Mass Effect? Mm-mm. Don't tell me. <laughs> no, I have no idea. I've never I played like, it. <laughs> yeah, Mass Effect is still a game that I want to play. On if anyone race, wants to get a dug... In the comments or whatever on YouTube, just put down Mass Effect's like ending. Yeah, well, good luck. Doug will accidentally read it. <laughs> um, did you see the, uh, not the manager, but like the CEO of Bioware has come out and said, what would people like to see for Mass Effect? Like if they remade Mass Effect, yeah. like remastered it. And he was like, put out a generic list of this is stuff that we should have. And it was like redo it all at 1080p and 60 frames a second and new textures for the original but race you didn't like mass effect i just couldn't get into it like how to what distance and extreme lengths are companies going that they're always doing remakes like they know they have good games and that's cool but how many more games can get remakes because that i think there's certain games that lend themselves to it when they just come out at a certain era like the Mass Effect's one engine just sort of sucked way more than the mm. following two. That's so the that, thing. They're not going to change the engine. They're just going to make it look pretty. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's just, like, how many remakes have been made on consoles now? Like, is there, For like is the there next, like, next gen consoles? Yeah, well, let's, let's put it all together. How many remakes have been made? Okay. No, but it depends on your classification of remake. Like, I was listening to some stuff on all the... Like, everyone's... Not that we care about it, but it's super G'd up about <laughs> Halo. Yeah. Um, the I graphics in that th- is like a massive step up. But like- I think it's a clever idea. It depends if it's... Say, Halo looks like it's almost completely remade, like the original. They're, that's more... They haven't just brought the engine up. They're like, oh, yeah, it's almost a reimagined levels. Yeah. Like some of their stuff has been tweaked pretty heavily. The, the but, sad thing with but, that game is when that comes out, there's going to be so, there's gonna be that one guy that's still playing on the Xbox. It's going to be like... Oh, there's no one playing online anymore. <laughs> Where's my friends? Whereas they're all going to be on the Xbox One mm. playing Halo. Depends on what time period stuff gets left, but I think, I don't know, for me, Mass Effect, probably because I'm a fan of the series, like, I think it's, um, it was, I like the series, even though there's all the controversy at the end, which I still haven't come across, but probably if there was a remastered pack, it would probably give me pretty good incentive to go back and play all of them. So you'd play straight from the start again? Yeah, like the... But haven't you just... Haven't you played the whole reason so you can continue on your story? Yeah, and that's why it's broken and it's giving me the shit. So yeah. Never, like, my save file broken, I can't get it across. Oh, okay. Really? Like, so I've played number one twice and I think I've played number two twice. Like, you Fuck, know how that How many I, hours is that? Yeah, probably a fair few because yeah. the standard playthrough... And it would count your hours and it'd be like 40 hours. Of Each? Play, yeah, playthrough. That's the most you've probably ever played a game for in your entire life. Yeah, and um, and that wasn't doing everything. Yeah. That was sort of 
story maybe get sidetracked a bit and do some other stuff yeah um but like i'm not like crazy like lucas where i'd try and look at everything and then not finish the game i'd like <laughs> like I'd, i've seen it all that's cool i can go home now yeah but Should um do that yeah that, that's probably been like i started playing mass effect 3 but it was with a generic start and yeah. then that just made me not get into it because mm-hmm. it pissed me off to a point that I couldn't play. You're like, I didn't do this. I don't know what's happening. This yep. is annoying. I've seen her. She likes me, but now she doesn't. Yeah. And there was stuff that would have come across that would be different. I think that's the thing. That's like if I if that happened to me in the Walking Dead games, yep. if I didn't have my save files in a folder, I'd be very unhappy. Yeah, you'd chuck a spanner. Yeah. Yeah, so... Be very unhappy. Have you played The Walking Dead games? No, I still haven't played it. So you enjoy the TV show, but you haven't played The Walking Dead games. Let's not forget it's more than just a TV show. It's a comic as well. Exactly. First and foremost. And that's why the game is brilliant. Because it's similar to the comic. Season one's out completely now, isn't it? Season two's out completely. Is it? Yes. (laughs) Season two is now. On the PS4, so you can get it. Well, there you go. You can play it on one of your PlayStation 4s. I know, you've probably only got one now. No, I've got a Wii U now too. Oh, look, yeah. Fancy, man. But uh, Mass Effect story was, like, even though I guess any other shortcomings, story is what, like, kept me going with Hmm. that. And actually, another game that you sort of disliked, especially in the end I was talking about earlier today to you, was um, Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Like, story for that, that was, like, especially the first game because by far... It like had all the cool mechanics and just didn't quite get there as should have been a better game. Like it was so hyped. Yeah. Uh, which is probably the same as Watch Dogs, really. Yeah. Um, not that I've played that, but just from you guys sort of turn me off that. But oh, sorry. Um, yeah. That's <laughs> right. All the probably the internet, to, like everyone, mm. just said yeah. The world in general. Yeah, exactly. But um, like I just pushed through that game and annoying stories just because I wanted to know what was happening. And yeah. you get to the end of that and it was like a series finale of a show. You're like, God What game damn. is this? Like Assassin's Creed. Oh, yeah. For yeah. me, like every... The way they finished an episode, like a... Would make you want to buy that and then when you bought the next one, you're just like, this sucks. And you're like, God damn it. And it's sort of the same way probably like any good show where they build you up to the end and it, you're like, shit, what is going to happen next time? And then... It's not it's, quite different the next game same way most tv especially american shows how all of a sudden there's a three month period of time that's like oh yeah we've jumped forward in time and all this stuff's happened that you don't know about essentially that's what would happen every assassin's creed yeah they'd be like oh yeah it's sort of you just like forge forward in time and um you kept going but then you get to the end of the next one and there'd be more unexplained questions you go (laughs) god damn it and then like the lost game yeah exactly so it's sort of i did like like that really I'd get to the end of that and you'd just be like god damn it now I have to wait another year the yeah. same way when your favourite TV show finishes where you're like god damn it and then still more coming in 2016 yeah like, pretty oh, much man, the suckers serious? and uh but yeah Mass Effect the story <clears throat> of that 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 kept me going which obviously I still don't even know the conclusion and then I just got upset because there was two having two endings to a game they made two because the first one was horrible yeah I know but now I, like I said I think maybe said on the podcast before I don't know which ending I'm going to by default play yeah true and you I don't like... know how it chooses it's never asked me when I installed it like I played on PC so I don't know how maybe it would come up with right at the end and be like do you want to see a shit ending or do you want to keep playing a little bit more to watch something good well I you'd be like if... fuck yeah let's watch something crap it's awesome. but it, was it a gameplay difference do you even know I'm, or was no. it purely just a different no I, scene? I think there might have been extra gameplay that they added to it to explore i'm making shit up i'm making shit up i have no idea no idea at all you haven't finished but it it's all. I played like, it the, I number know. one for a little bit. I reckon everyone got so upset because the backstory and all the lore that they were setting up was mm. so good and so deep. And then if they did just shank the ending, yeah. it would have pissed everyone off. Like, exactly. I reckon it was cool in number, t- yeah, number two that you... Um, if people haven't played this by now, they can just suck it. Even though I don't want to know what happens. <laughs> but number two, it's the middle one. But, and it's the first five minutes of the game. But you die. Yeah. And then you re... Did you know this? No. Yeah, so first... Five minutes of number two, the original, yeah, your, Shepherd. Yeah, Shepherd dies. Um, what's making noises? Camera? Camera's probably dead. Yeah, it just ran out of juice. Oh, there we go. Um, well, we just got the GoPro now. Oh, well. hey. <laughs> um, and then you're brought back as a, like, you're cloned. Yeah. So that's sort of like a, another weird story that I don't know if that ever gets fully explained. Yeah. Like, so that that's like a cool little, and then, 
From that, though, they're able to take the story in a slightly different direction because you're a clone of the original guy. Right. And there's cool backstory, and you all got better enhancements and stuff because of that fact. Can you change your face a little bit? I don't know. Don't Maybe that good. is half the reason they let you do it, just so you can be like, oh, yeah, change my face. Because like, that's, that's the, half the reason why I stopped playing Mass Effect, because I made a guy. Oh, yeah, flat face. Yeah, flat face. Whole oh, flat face. Made him flat. He made a face that made looked a face really like, good yeah, from the front. Front on. So 2D. Yeah, did, no, didn't yeah. spin the guy to the yeah, side. And then it didn't rotate him. Look back and... The old flat face. Yeah, pretty much he was. It was horrible. It was like Max Power... No, Max Power. What's his name? Max Payne. Max Payne one. Yeah. That's that how his was, face looked. How, like, how cross he was. <laughs> um, My wife is dead. I don't know if she is, but I can't they see were, They were good so games. And Max Payne 3 was good. Fucking awful. Max Payne 3 was that game that when it came out... And this is a brilliant segue. God, that was good. That I said GDA You ruined your own It doesn't matter segue. That GDA is going to look fucking sick And <clears> the <throat> other thing that everyone had said Finally if Rockstar take across this shooting mechanic They will make a good game yeah. and, and they, they did con- slightly Yeah they left some of it behind Because what they did wrong in GDA was In Max Payne when you zoom in Yeah you you got your pointer at something You zoom in You zoom in that pointer Yeah GDA when you zoom in It goes It goes up a little bit and that's frustrating. Yeah, but I think sometimes is that done on purpose because on for online, if you were just already looking there, then zoom perfectly, it kind of you, not how you would zoom. Maybe. Mm. Are you sure? Have you that, shot someone in the face before, Douglas? That don't we don't know. know about. No. Are you sure? No. You're a criminal. So criminal. what was the new news for GTA this last week? First you did person. Not know. Yeah, I knew we guessed it last week, bitches. We, I think Reese, we guessed it ages ago as well. Reese was like, "Oh yeah, that's official now." He was like, oh, "I didn't say that. I said did. I don't know if it is Zoom or not." Zoom it back. Zoom it back. Zoom it back. <laughs> Zoom that shit back. Yep. It's official. GTA Five First Person. Yeah, and I'm pretty I sure different on KB though. agreed. So, yeah, yeah, that's been. That's been brought out. Oh, okay. No, it hasn't, KB. Well, it has now. Have you seen the video? Of no, I haven't watched it yet. No, no. Looks probably the best that. thing since iced bread. Iced bread. <laughs> <laughs> That's also known as cake. Apparently, this <laughs> Doug's been fed the wrong shit. Bread and ice. <laughs> iced bread? All like I'm thinking icing. is like literally... If you're eating you, iced bread, how, is, is that how you lose your There's a slice waskers? of bread in your hand... Your missus has got a couple of ice cubes, yeah, so rolled it up and gone, here's some ice bread, though. Oh, no, and you're like... It's a frozen, it's a frozen like, oh, it's really nice. That's, a, that's the best yeah, thing yeah. I've ever seen. Wow. <laughs> so it's ice bread. Oh, no. And then what she actually did was pop a little candle and she's like, happy fucking birthday. I was birthday. thinking more like icing on bread. Yeah, well... Like coffee scrolls. Or, yeah. or maybe a, a birthday cake. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't steal my joke. I just said that. You didn't say that. I said she you put a candle in it and said, happy fucking yeah, birthday. Yeah, it didn't say birthday cake, though. It's the same thing. If anything's got Karen, a candle in it, it's a birthday cake. Cares for... Oh, yep, you put a candle on that and you yeah. go, happy birthday, birthday cake. too. Yeah. You better fucking eat that because that's a birthday cake. Exactly. No, it's not, it's not well, edible. There's First no candle person, in it. Yet. GDA got plastic five. Going, All right, exactly. GDA 5, to me... Okay, the way that I saw it was, this is GDA 5 Far Cry. Yeah, yeah, true. Mm. And by changing the perspective of it and putting so much detail into the hands, the weapons, the camera the car angles, car interior, the car, like, like all the ev- speedometers work yeah, properly, everything like that. And the phones. Did you play five? Yeah. Yeah. So you know how they had three different operating systems on everyone's phone, which is weird in itself that everyone. There was like an Android phone, an iPhone, and a Windows phone. Well, yeah, well um, Franklin obviously wasn't a rich guy, so he just had like one of those shit phones you'd buy from the corner store. So he had Android. What did Trevor have again? Trevor, he Trevor, had the Windows no. phone, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> did he? Yeah. Well, he had a phone that he probably would have stolen off someone. Yeah, Windows You think about it, Michael had a phone that he paid lots of money yeah, so for. Yeah, he had an iPhone. Yeah. But, um, so Michael was that They've silly all person. been redone in first person as well. So you're sitting there using your phone yeah. and you can see the hand. That's what Doug got excited stuff. about. Not the weapons, all the fucking no, bullets like, and casings and all that crazy shit. All the shit. other stuff did excite me, but yeah. I was like, holy shit, that is like an extreme amount of detail to go yeah. to. Like beyond like, everything else. Like everything else I think has been done before. Cool that they've put it all together and it's done. Okay, and, so did you finish it though? Did you finish five? Yeah. But I only played five? one yes. ending. Did anyone else play more than one ending? No. no. Why so would what, you play more than one? The one ending... I didn't There's only one anyone. good ending. Exactly. That's the only ending you should play. Well, I thought play. it was ridiculous to let you kill people. Yeah, well, Luke fucking did it. 
Dumb and ass. so many people actually someone just popped up on Facebook the other day like God damn I fucking killed like, <laughs> Trevor or yeah, something yeah don't do that why would yes. you kill a character you could be yeah but can why, you is there not a question you're on, asking no no I'm just wondering do you guys want to go back now and play it I want to play the whole thing oh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. first person because I'll probably buy it on PC too yeah I feel like this PC? no no I'll buy it on PS4 all. I feel like this just brings back so much element to the full game itself and then like playing like you know, on multiplayer and all that as well Race, all you have to do on Oculus. PlayStation is Oculus as well wow that would be pretty cool someone will have to mod that but I wonder how much body detail they've actually done with... Oh, yeah, I wonder if, like, you, you look at your legs, their legs will be walking, being all gangster and shit. Like, they already had first person when you were the dog. So, True. It yeah, was like, not a big step. No, they, they just used that same element. No, but Rockstar... Hold on. Do you know what will be done? That I... This is my guess, what? given that the one thing... I still don't think they'd allowed really specifically that much modding for GTA 4 on PC. Yeah. But they'd put out a really cool movie suite so you could make movie, like, do all the camera angles, yeah. do everything. I think they'll do that again. How cool will, like, in-game movies be? Like, you full-on could just make a movie and watch it. Yeah, true. Like, with how good the animation system and stuff is. It's going to be freaking awesome. But Rockstar... I'd watch a remade movie. Like, I'd watch an existing movie. If someone spent the time Indeed, yeah. to, like, dub it into, dump it into GTA, yeah. I'd watch that. True. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. I'd watch part of it. And then I'd probably walk away. And then say, oh, yeah, I watched a bit of it. That's cool. What movie would you... If there was, was a movie, what would you watch, Doug? It would have to be something a bit rubbishy, like a Fast and Furious or yeah. something, wouldn't it? When you think about it. Or maybe... Go, actually, what would work better would be, a um, like, an 80s or 90s action movie like mm. Lethal Weapon yeah you know something under, where under siege some way yeah. yeah something bit more old school good explosions although all the cars and stuff would be wrong like that, was, that would probably work better if you could fly those jumbo jets Con Air would probably be pretty good a lot of that movie's based in a plane though yeah well that's alright they, they can mod it it definitely it a, seems a like car. you would be not utilising the big open world <laughs> if you are just you know, <laughs> like, just generic background flying that's past exactly it. that is very true very true but Rockstar right Rockstar yes. advertised shit so freaking well yes like I was I was happy that GDA was coming on PS4 I was looking at the graphics and I was like yep they put so much detail into it that looks freaking sick but it's funny that stuff was kind of leaked-ish first they yeah. were saying here's comparisons and then they've just like do you get all the Rockstar propaganda emails yep. from being no no nope. oh, from because I had to join up for the online stuff and then yeah. they email me all the time yep. yeah. and um, but yeah they the fact that they've put together hey here's just straight up and down a PS4 PS3 comparison yeah. official wow. like no yeah. like bullshit stuff that's off but that's the good thing like that's what is an interesting thing is they do that stuff for Playstation and not oh, I thought that Xbox. too they must still Sony still must be paying some big dollars yeah. or it's just better on PS4 yeah let's say that I think a bit of both yeah <laughs> True. Very true. Suck a dick, Xbox. What? That's... <laughs> the... But like, I wasn't like I was excited, but I wasn't super excited. And yeah, then the hard on when like this came raging. out, this one came. I had two. I had just doubles. Like another one started spurting out the other side of me. Uh, we go back a year ago. Yeah, I did the first like the introduction video. Yeah, and I, yeah, I thought you could GTA jump out looked... of planes and parachute yeah. and. Yeah. When GTA first came out, like when it was first announced and first came out, I thought it looked amazing. And now the whole extra detail in this, holy shit. Like well, they've just improved so much. I said to Reese prior to uh, to this, the one thing that I'd paid attention to that I thought was awesome is like freeways look crazy busy now. And often like sometimes you would pull over and all of a sudden you're like, why are cars not smashing into me? And you'd... The one time you wander onto a freeway and there's no cars, it's yeah. really annoying. Now it looks like there's cars all the time. Yeah. It's going to be like difficult to drive on the I freeway think. Yep. in peak hour. Yep, which would be crazy. Like but it I, might be hard to steal the car. Though. No, <laughs> it'd be hard to get the car out of the way. I did like in the previous one, and I feel that like not previous one, but on PS3, and I feel that it'll have to be just hectic as now. It was busy on the freeways, like it genuinely felt busy, and sometimes you would crash, and then like four people yeah. would smash into you and you're like holy shit this mm. feels like what it would be like at 110 and when you're weaving and ducking tra you know traffic it was crazy yeah. so now i feel it'll just be super intense yeah. pretty crazy 
Uh, and having more wildlife around, that would be nice. Unnecessary, but nice. Oh, not really. Well, there's that hunting and all that stuff you can do in it, isn't there? I didn't do any of that. Yeah, there was hunting in it. I didn't. I know. didn't do it all as well. I, yeah. I start did the first hunting thing. But, but it would be nice. Like, it would be more yeah. immersive. Yeah. And did you see they'd recorded, like, some obscure amount more of dialogue as well? Not really. Yeah, so there's way well, more I, I, pedestrian. I've got new missions and... New like, soundtrack, too. More. Yeah. Yep. Actually, Flume, uh, Flume's done some more, apparently. Ooh, yep. That is fun. I enjoy Flume. Yep. Um, on music, though, for GDA, I looked and it's something I own on Steam. Lots of things I own on Steam. Uh, GDE San Andreas yep. has now copped a HD update, same as what they had Popped used. Popped up just like that, apparently, on Bam. Steam. Yep. Didn't tell anyone. No. They just did it. They used all the same textures that they had rejiggered for iPad and iPhone. Oh, really? Because it all got... Yep. All the games get redone for iOS and then just get left on yep. PC, which is crazy. But that was cool. Like you said, no one, no one expected it. They took out like a dozen tracks off the radio. Really? Yeah. Why? Why? Weren't allowed to use them? Or just Must, to... No, they haven't said why. And they were like, apparently with stuff like this, they're like, whoever has done the update, whether it was Rockstar or whoever, they're like traditionally really bad with getting back to people. They're like, so not that many people, one like user had noticed and posted on a forum and there's been a few people like, hey, they're right. Mm. But apparently they're like normally pretty bad about getting back to people. But yeah, so no explanation and just like nerfed songs off the off it That's Tupac horrible. was one of the songs mm. and San Andreas had a wicked soundtrack yeah, yeah. see I never so, played San Andreas for what? yeah I just didn't get into it yeah, wow I it love San Andreas I didn't like the fact that you could get fat and skinny another game I think I finished twice Bruce. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, this one what's that? this this game San Andreas yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah far out um, and played it differently I wouldn't have thought that that style game would have had like as in because you could take over areas that was fun yeah. and annoying at yeah. the same time that you had the whole gang yeah, you had to fight for those areas once you got them yeah because yeah, one time I took too. over way more areas earlier mm-hmm. and which was a terrible sentence way more <laughs> areas earlier but um <laughs> It actually made then the game because you wouldn't be driving through baller territory, yeah. And it actually made the game quite easier. And then sure. something happened like major plot point where you got like dumped into the desert, which is then also unlocked the next area. That's yeah. what happened with GDA yeah. games. Uh, that then nerfed all the uh, areas that I had taken over. So I'd spent all this time taking over areas, and then they were like, "Yoink." You go into the next area, and then I lost everything that I'd taken <laughs> over. So then they're like, hey, you can... Then it was available to take them over again. I'm like, it took so long. Yeah. Because you just... It was um, probably pretty old school mechanic of go to this area, shoot enough ballers, yeah. and then that would start a gang war. And then it was wave on wave of mm. people coming at you. And that was annoying. And essentially, most of the time, I'd found it was easier if you just found a really good spot to, spot to hide and the dumb AI kind of just funneled mm. into a spot and you just killed them by cheating. But uh, that was super grindy. And going to the gym, that was... <laughs> well, gr- they try to make it very RPG-like. Yeah, going yeah, to the soundtrack. gym, that was really grindy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was fun at the time. That was like the coolest element of that game. Everyone was like so excited. That, I can get yeah, you, off. I'm not Yeah, you can get fat. But then it become... The funniest it was to be fat, you then couldn't run. Yeah. So Really? Yeah, well, or you could you, run, you got, but you couldn't run as far. You got too juiced up to be... Some, something didn't go wrong with that too. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think that ever happened. Well, the girls would snicker at you. But the far, fact probably. that they had... Oh, little Willie. Um, they had snooker, or like pool in it. They yeah. had heaps of arcade machines, like more than one style of arcade game you could play. You could play basketball. You could style your cars and all that. Yeah, ten, there was Ten times more you would do the others. Yeah, was, there's more to do in GDA. Bicycles, I'm pretty sure now. Yeah, right? you pimp out your bikes and stuff like you. I think that's and... all the, a lot of the elements that they I think brought back. All the those one thing that I just things. wish they added to PS4 GDA is skateboards. They did it in Bully, but they didn't do it in this. Which one? Bully. In oh, Bully, that's yeah. the school. I think the only problem is not with the work of putting it in; it's deciding on how that you would treat it in the game. Like, there's bikes. Well, that's the thing. Like, bikes, everyone can ride a bike. You wouldn't see Michael skating, that's for sure. No, no. Like, Well, I guess there's that side of things as well from the immersion side. But mm. I just mean as in, bikes are all right, and then they're pretty lenient 
with how you fall off. Like that's always the thing with games is like, well, what point does your character fall off? Like where do you have it that it's real and where do you have it that it's fun? Well, the, the thing with bikes is the bikes are pretty retarded with the whole element of falling off it. Yeah, they are real easy to stay in, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. You so do whatever you want on it. Imagine then, that's the thing. So they've done that, but imagine you do it with a skateboard. Mm. You're like, well, really, you should fall the off every time you The only way that they, they would be able to make it look good would be if it was like, they would look like pro skaters, like on skate. Which then <laughs> totally Which would break. just look retarded. But One still, thing that would people be don't fun. really care about that when they're Specifically, if it was just Franklin that could do it. Mm. Like a skateboard, I'd be yeah. happy with that. Yeah. And you could grab the back of cars like Tony Hawk 2. You can do that in skate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But the, I'd be happy with that. Imagine like... Yeah, just kitchen. Like, and then doing like a drive-by <laughs> on the back. <laughs> and the car just takes off because it would start speeding more. We'll write to... Uh, Rockstar. Write to yeah. We'll say, come on, guys. So you think with them releasing this now on PS4 and Xbox One... Mm. They're, and PC later. Yeah. And it's more of a leeway for them to let it go for a while until they release... GTA 6 oh for oh, sure ages. like they're doing this so oh, people it's, it'll, it'll people probably be another risk. 2 to 3 years before oh, GTA 6 comes out if anything yeah. I reckon forward. like they openly said when they released it that they viewed the online element as of it game. as yeah, another, another game. game that was going to go on for years but the shit that like the online is awesome there's so much to do in the online they should have just done... They haven't done this, have they? Just Would you just play a co-op? I suppose it would break it. But not really. Most of the time, there's three characters. Mm. If you could play the whole game as three-player co-op, mm. that would work. Or if mm. they just added in, who's that? Mm. Shut up. And just your character was in there. Just, yeah. Oh, yeah, like um, Dead Space. That made yeah. no sense. It was no. just a single-player game that suddenly there was a second character. Yeah. And there was major cutscene elements that they just ignored the fact that there was two mm. players. It'd be fun to do that. Um, I enjoy it. It'd be cool if it just worked the way uh, Far Cry did. Just oh yeah, bang! Now I'm Trevor in the helicopter. <laughs> yeah, true. That would be pretty sick. Yeah, that would be. But cool. there'd be moments where it'd be like Trevor can't come to this, so he can't play co-op, single player only. That would be cool. Yeah, it'd be really cool. But why? We should write to Rockstar. Yeah, dear Mister Rockstar. <laughs> Skateboards and co-op. Come on, I'm pretty no. sure people probably dear ask for Rockstar that. North and South. Do they both make it? I don't know. No, <laughs> but, no. But yeah, like, GTA Online is probably one of the only... Like, is a game itself. Definitely. Um, Are you going to get it? Five. Yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Even though you played more online, like, we tried to play online a bit, mm. and just the probably PlayStation experience online made me not play it as much as I would have. Why? Just it was a bit awkward to get a hold of people and talk to them. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, because we did play together, didn't we? Yeah, I think the fact that we can go into a party... It would yeah. be better because yeah. earlier we couldn't do that. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, because PlayStation like you could chat party system was pretty shit. You could call mm-hmm. someone in the game from the in-game phone, and that's yeah. how you then called another character. Yeah, uh, but then when you died, the phone call hung up, and you could very t- frustrating. Yeah, mm. so and they, I think I think having a party, you needed PlayStation Plus. Uh, you need PlayStation Plus on PS3 to be able to have party chat, oh. and we both didn't have that. Uh, so now that we both have to have PlayStation Plus and have PS4s, we can do chats and parties and then I have a party. I never played online. Huh? No, I never played it online. It's good. That's Wasn't probably... there a lot of complaints at the start? Well, it didn't come out at No, start. you couldn't get on. Oh, I mean, no, you when, couldn't... when it first came no, out. No, you couldn't get into service. Yeah. Is that service? right? Yeah. yeah There's a lot of people didn't... getting around shooting each other too. Maybe. What was that? It's kind of the aim of the game randomly no but um, they do like if you go around randomly killing someone consistent continuously and people suck about it yeah. you get put into like the dunce server yeah. which is where just a bunch of fuckwits go and they you have to wasn't be good wasn't that titanfall no it? I, I think that happened as well but like if you have to be good before you get out yeah. of that so you can you have to be good so you can play with good people that aren't dogs yeah yeah that's fair enough mm, good times yeah I think that's all we got time for yeah I feel like yeah. it is yeah Thanks right. for coming along, Kieran Nunn. Absolute yep. pleasure. Indeed. I hope you have a good time with your podcast. Hope we get back on, on Earth Farm. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Just pay your people. Here we are. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Shitty bastards. But YouTube's free, so yeah, that's, true. that's true. Keep that up. Well, uh, thanks for listening. I hope you made it to the end. Yep. You can uh, find us on the YouTubes. The YouTubes. We are up there each week. Hi. The Twitter. I did the thing that Reese hates. I just. Yep. We've it. already done it, so it doesn't matter. Right. Them's Facebooks. Yep, the Facebooks. Twisties. Uh, the Twitter sphere. Um, We're on the yep. Twitter sphere. Uh, yeah. We are called the Trusty Crowbar. You work it out. Just Google it. Yep, Google that shit. And if you want to listen to the comic book stuff, 
Google On Earth One podcast. Yeah. Bang. Yep, and you'll be fine. We might even link it. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. If I we could link it. We'll see how we go. Maybe. See how we go with the technology. Yeah, because since you do nothing with it, so mm. I'll, I'll probably have to do it. Thanks <laughs> I'll tweet that. about it. Yeah, joke. I'll get back on Twitter yeah. now. Oh, I'll just spam your page. All right. I'm Reese Winslow. That is true. <laughs> my name is Douglas Bright. I'm Kerry Nunn. And Bye-bye. this is Just Kruber. Bye bye. Oh!